all right my synchron community welcome back to the video in today's video i'm it's actually it's not gonna be too long hopefully fingers crossed i've got something really amazing for you guys like oh my god like i I was just browsing through random shit on EDO Pro as you can see on screen. Wow, this is amazing. Like it just boosts Synchron so much, especially now with the hit of Chaos Ruler. Um, if you saw my last video um, on my deck profile for the post ban list stuff, um, you saw that I replaced uh, Chaos Ruler with Scarlight, um, which is cool, but the problem is we can't play the deck at 50 anymore. Like it just doesn't work. So we're probably gonna have to go down to 45 or even 40 to accommodate for the missing Mo 5. Uh, but anyway, I found something else even cooler. Okay, everyone, before I start this video, I would just like to mention a big stupid note from me. This is Millen Editor here. I was the stupid one and decided to to actually show you guys this before actually testing out the deck. And I made a stupid mistake when I mentioned Lapis Dragon in this video. Um, you'll note that it's a sea serpent and not a dragon. So it won't it won't work for the combos I'm going to mention. So whenever you see me say Lapis Dragon, please note that I'm changing that to be Destrudo. And when I mention Psychic and uh, Punisher, I actually mean Black Rose Dragon. Because now obviously if we don't have Lapis, we can't make Psychic End. So if we use Destrudo instead, we can make a level 7 Synchro. And I prefer Black Rose Dragon. So... This is just Editor Millen here giving you guys some info on some confusion that might arise. But I'll put images over the two cards just to help. Uh, but again, I apologize. This is me doing a stupid. Um, so as you know, in the Darkwing Blast set that's coming out, if we look on screen, we can see that the business stuff is coming out. And that's pretty cool. So I thought, you know what, boosted, you know what, branded stuff, nothing really for Synchron. But then I actually read these effects and you can actually Synchro Summon turn zero or you can set up your board for, as protection uh, for your turn going and this is purely going second so we could potentially even build a synchron deck going second so hear me out it's a little mad but hear me out so looking at the first card we've got boosted droid worm right this card is really cool because you can target one or i think all boosted have this effect you can target one light or dark monster in either graveyard banish it and if you do special summon this card from your hand and then they each have different effects this is obviously all quick effects if your opponent has a monster in field which is great going second you can target one upon special summon monster send it to the graveyard um, and then you can only use this effect of droid worm once per turn which is cool for anything other than tier combine this with hop ear squadron so you go, you make your Bristed Droidum first, let it resolve, then you go into a Hoppier Squadron. It's also a quick effect, which allows you to Synchro Summon into a level 8 Synchro on turn 0. So you can interrupt your opponent's board. You can either make, uh, in my opinion, um, these are the two best ones to make. You can either make a Starter Spark Dragon, which is a quick effect. It's a basically protection. Um, so you can use this and keep it on field. Obviously, this isn't a threat to your opponent. Your opponent might not even destroy it. But it's got that quick effect where you can protect, like, it's a cool effect where you can protect your speeder on your turn. So it's a cool thing to have. But I think the better one by far is Askan, uh, the Bicorn Goatee. Um, Askan, Askan, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, apologies. But this card's really cool. Like, it's a, it's a banish. It's so your opponent, so say for example, we're going against here, they make you their Kitkalos, you go into this, you banish the go, this Askan and the Kitkalos. This thing is amazing. Like, you can Synchro Summon turn zero. Just imagine that, guys. This is so cool. And obviously, this is very situational. I mean, like, you have to draw into both of them to actually resolve um, this one. So this one is a little riskier, but it's cool when it goes off. The next one I'm going to show you has a little bit more consistency to it. Um, so obviously here we have to play three and three of each so it's already six cards which is quite a lot but here we just have to play three and one so let me explain this so Busted Magnemit is a little better in in the sense that obviously it can still work with Hop Ear but I mean I, we can even literally skip out on Droid Worm and just use Magnemit uh, yeah we actually could do that I don't know why I included Droid Worm when we could do that anyway the point is Busted Magnemit is cool it does the same thing it special summons itself but it has the effect that um uh, you can activate this effect, add on Dragon Monster from your deck or Graver Jan during the end phase of this turn. This is a really cool effect, um, turn zero, because you can add Lapis Dragon. I don't know if these cards, I actually haven't checked if any of these cards are on the ban list. <laughs> Fingers crossed they're not. Um, but yeah, that would really suck if they are. Um, but we can make Lapis Dragon, which is, well, we can add Lapis Dragon to our hand off of the Bristed Magnemit. Uh, during the end phase and its effect is if this card is added from your deck to your hand you can reveal this card special summon this card so you basically just special summon this this and this is a free level 11 synchro what better level 11 synchro 
then Psychic and Punisher. Going into your main phase 1, you immediately just make Psychic and Punisher and you know you've already got a boss monster on the field, which is amazing. Like, I cannot begin to express how awesome this is. Like, this is obviously moving in a very different direction from what we used to with Synchron. Come on guys, this is so cool. Like, it's, you, it's mad not to explore the, the possibilities with this. It's so cool. And I mean, like, if we just remove Heart Rate and the uh, Chaos Ruler, or the replacement for the Chaos Ruler, you can fit either uh, two of these, so I would recommend Asgun and Psychic N. So you put this, these two in re as a replacement, and look, you've got a hell of a cool board. And then also, another thing coming out in Darkwing Blast, which is the thing I'm most excited for, is this broken card, Psychic Rover. Let me read this effect and just try and think about how broken this is. If this card is special summoned, you can roll a six-sided die, and if you roll one or six, destroy up to two cards in the field. Keep in mind it doesn't specify which side of the field so you can pop on your side and your opponent's side or either or. When this card is sent to the graveyard, you can roll a 6 sided die and you roll 2, 3 or 4 or 5 special summon this card. Also you cannot special summon cards from the month, uh, special summon monsters from the extra deck while this card is face up in the monster zone. It is not once per turn so this is amazing. So if your opponent doesn't know what this does right, you special summon it. It's also let me put it this way, it's an e telly target. This is broken. So you go e telly Usually you'd want to use this after you've done all your synchro summoning or if you bricked really hard and you can't synchro or your speeder gets negated This just helps you play past all of that So you go e telly into your Psychic Grover, Psychic Grover effect, roll a 6 sided die If you roll 1 or 6, you try to pop up 2 cards on the field Your opponent will obviously try to negate this and most negates are negate and pop So if this thing gets popped, negate and pop to the center of the graveyard, its effect activates in the graveyard Roll a 6 sided dice, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this would resolve a little bit easier Special summon it back to the field and it goes, it's not once per turn, uh, it gets its effect again If this card is special summoned, you roll the 6 sided dice again So if your opponent doesn't know what this does, you can just keep looping this and cycling and cycling and cycling It's amazing and obviously if your opponent veils this or or anything like that, it's a level 2 non-tuner. So you can use it with Junk Synchron or any other tuner for that matter and synchro off into something else. So I believe this is a very good card for Synchron. Like I cannot express how awesome this is. Just with this, we've... Okay, let's let's opt out of the Droid Worm and just run the 3 uh, Hoppier Squadron, the 3 Bisnit Magnemit and the 1 Lapis Dragon. So 3, 6... 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 cards. So we obviously have to remove certain things. Obviously the Dawn Walker package can come out because we're not really, we can't really make the Chaos Ruler anyway. So like, I mean, it's not really useful in that sense. It was very useful for Chaos Ruler and then it would get us to mill and then we'd get more advantage of that. But because we don't have that anymore, I think we can remove the Dawn Walker package. And then that's obviously what, four cards coming out. We could potentially remove, um, Cyber Synchron because I mean it, it's we only use it for protection and I feel like uh, we need the slots and then Dragon Shrine can also come up so you, you can see how many cards we can take out and we can cut down on the, uh, the, the, the the hand trap segment because if this is a going second bolt we remove the traps we can literally just play Gamma and maybe potentially the Dark Rulers and we can just put this in but I, I would really want to keep the Kaijus in because Kaijus are always good but looking at this just looking at what we've got here this is this is very cool. Um, but yeah, no, that's that's just I just wanted to showcase to you guys what is possible for the future of Synchron. Uh, stuff coming out in Darkwing Blast. So maybe if you guys were not looking forward to the set or you didn't know what with what to do with Synchron because of the ban list, there are some potential possibilities of things we can do, which is so good. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for you guys today. If you really enjoyed the or if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and actually comment um, again. I'm gonna be a little stingy and just plug again, please. Uh, please sponsor us, Solar Pop. Unplug yourself because I really want to get this channel sponsored. And like I mentioned, um, I'm still trying to brainstorm this, but I'm could um, I am not could going to be making a Synchron versus the World series, which is coming soon. I still yeah, that's later. And yeah, comment down below what card or if you have actually not what card, but if you have anything you would like to add to the Synchron deck, what are your inputs? Like, I would love to hear from you guys. Like, you guys always give me badass stuff. Like, one of you guys gave me the, the the advice for the Vermilion Dragon, and you saw what that did for our deck. It was amazing. But, yeah. Also, I am going to be creating another separate Instagram account. I'll probably mention it in the next video I'll make, um, where you guys can drop me, like, and I'll make it an open account, so you guys can DM me with, like, uh, deck profiles or suggestions and stuff like that because I know one of you guys were asking in the comments from the last video if you could just um, send me something on Twitter 
like, like I'm like a tech profile or something and yeah so I just want to have more communicate communication with you guys my community just help you guys out you guys help me we help each other out um, and we're in contact that way then I feel like you know what um, I can share your guys's input on the channel on Instagram and we can build a community there as well where we can communicate a little bit more freely um, instead of just the YouTube um, description or comments section but yeah again I'm not gonna let this ramble on too long we're already 10 minutes in but yeah that's all i've got for you guys if you guys really like the video like comment and subscribe as i mentioned but that's all from me and i'll see you guys in the next video peace